What is going on my friends and welcome back to another video on the channel. On today's video we are going over Matic as it has been seeing an absolutely amazing move to the upside. So this is a crypto that we honestly haven't talked about many times on the channel. We've covered it before in the past especially in September and in August but we've been kind of just waiting for these breakouts. We've been waiting for Matic to see the move that it's been trying to make and it is finally here. Now just two weeks ago we actually were talking about this exact move in the Patreon and in that live stream I just want to kind of show you guys what we were talking about to show you how it all has played out and then we can go forward about what i'm expecting now let's go ahead and let's give it a listen until we get above this trend once we get above this trend line um that's a very good sign that we're looking at some type of upward continuation possibly back up towards two dollars and fifty to two dollars and thirty cents Okay, but just what so what we were talking about in that video we were way back down here we were working our way back up towards this trend line and i said that the rest of the market you know our ethereums our adas all of these cryptos had broken that may to september uh, may to september trend line this trend line of resistance that was created they had all broken it and matic was just lagging it wasn't making that same move it wasn't seeing the momentum that the rest of the market was but i said watch for it to catch up it's gonna catch up with the rest of the market i think it's fundamentally just as strong as many of these other cryptos and i see no reason as to why it can't make a massive move to the upside as well well from there what we can see is we did end up going in one big swoosh actually breaking through this trend line and coming back down establishing a beautiful layer of support before continuing back upwards now the pattern that actually got us here was a beautiful inverse head and shoulders that we traded on the patreon so again i know i showed the live stream from the patreon and i mentioned that trade definitely do go check it out guys we do a lot of trading i do a lot of ta live streams and i cover pretty much every single crypto that is on my channel or ever mentioned on my channel in there almost every single day so it's definitely worth the check out but we actually were paying close attention to this inverse head and shoulders okay what we were going to be watching was this shoulder line and once we did see the break of the shoulder line we also saw the broke of the the breaking of the trend line in which we back tested the shoulder line use that to establish some support now of course just looking at the basic price target of a inverse head and shoulders you're going to go from the shoulder line down to the bottom of the head then apply that to the top of the shoulder line and what you can see is that our price target was actually met on that trade that was done for the mat uh, for matic in which we absolutely beautifully executed on this full extension up to a dollar and 80 cents to complete that move so i mean it was a technically sound move to the upside in which we saw a bullish pattern break us out of a key level of resistance a back testing of support and continuation to the upside so that was a textbook beautiful move from matic and i'm very excited to see it moving in a fashion like that because it shows that steam is starting to pick up i mean we can look at it today being up 7.6 7.32 percent when the total market cap of all cryptos is down over one percent so i mean that's a major outperforming right now which kind of shows that matic is still starting to pick up and we can definitely be looking at some type of possible continuation to the upside of course if the market does allow it and so with that being said i'm going to talk a bit about what i'm expecting now and where i think this thing can or cannot go so to kind of get this thing started what i will say is now that we have reached the price target of a very very important um bullish pattern here so of course we had a bullish pattern we had the price target and the price target was met we can see that there is a bit of a pullback happening right there that is going to be a lot of people's take profit levels that's where a lot of people were expecting the price to go and so of course if they do take profits at this level that is just going to push the price down which is no surprise as to why we are seeing a bit of a wick right here as you can see a bit of a wick right here just meaning the price kind of just trailed down a little bit okay and so in the short term if we do see some type of roll over here i wouldn't necessarily be all that surprised okay i don't think it will have that big of an impact on where this thing is going in the long term but if we do look at things such as the bonds or bands on the hourly charts we were super extended and so some type of you know pullback even possibly towards the 20 simple moving average on the hourly charts wouldn't surprise me just to allow us to come back down find some support as we did back here to allow us to continue this move to the upside what i would be looking to see hold as support right now is let's look to see if the price does start to roll over let's see if we are able to close and hold on the 20 simple moving average on the four hour charts what you can see is that this has been the level that has carried us all pretty much all the way up from the beginning of the week and so i want to see or about four or five days ago i forget it's tuesday but we can see that it has been you know the key support level that is pushing us to the upside and so let's see if we do 
do fall, we resort back to this four hour 20 simple moving average and then look for some type of continuation to the upside. Now, if we do start to see the momentum continue, right, and we start to see uh, Matic continue to work its way back up, well, first and foremost, it's just going to look like a clearing of this high that was set at about a dollar and 80. Let's give it a dollar and 85 cents. That's going to be our breakout high. So, what happens is we break out from a key area, we set a high, we come back down. This is our breakout high. Once you clear that breakout high, the likelihood is you're continuing back upwards, of course, because you're going to set a higher high in your uptrend, okay? So let's talk a little bit about where I'm expecting this thing to go and what the possibilities are here. So what we have been paying very close attention to, of course, is this long-term cup and handle pattern. So of course we can see that we had this cup, we had the handle, and we just are going up now to clear that cup line. Now, that cup line is also going to be represented by a breakout target of this inverse head and shoulders. So you can see how all of these little levels are playing together. OK, so if we're able to go back above a dollar and eighty five cents, I'm actually going to start to look for Matic to make the move to complete its breakout target of this cup and handles pattern. So what we're going to do is take the distance from the bottom of our cup to the top of the cup line. And we're actually going to apply that to wherever this cup line is. Now, what we can see is that actually gives us a possible bullish breakout target right now of three dollars, which is going to set us a new all time high. Now, is this going to happen at like right now? Is this going to you know be something that happens immediately? I highly doubt it. I think that if the market continues upward, because of course, Matic will depend on the market. If the market continues upward, so will Matic. But I think if the market continues upwards, we can definitely be looking at the execution there, which could be some type of continued growth of over you know 60 to 70 percent. I think that's highly within the realm of possibility, especially considering the fact that we're looking at other cryptos, say such as Ethereum, that's already made that exact move back to you know back to the upside to surpass some of its all-time highs and i think it's just a matter of time before some of our lower caps do the same so right now in the long term i still do have my eyes set on that new all-time high i think we've established this foundation i think we've established the support levels necessary we've seen the breakouts we've seen the bullish momentum we've seen the increase in volume as you can see volume just gradually gradually let's see if i can get this pulled up you can see it gradually, gradually increasing right here. And if we're able to continue that, I think there's a good chance that we do see Matic working its way back up towards its all time high over time. And so with that being said, we're going to break this thing down even more. I'm going to try to bring you guys more updates and let you know what's happening more on a short term time frame, because in the short term, I do again believe that some type of pullback could happen. But if we break our, um, you know, if we break our breakout high, which is going to be sitting again at $1.85, be looking for this thing to continue upwards. We might see the breakout a retest of this cup line and then boom continuation to the top side to chase some of these previous highs and if we start to fall do remember we're looking to see if that four hour 20 simple moving average will hold and if it doesn't hold we definitely could be looking at some type of back testing of you know some of our previous highs that were set by our shoulder line as low as a dollar and 40 to a dollar and 50 cents so that's kind of just more of my broad outlook right now on if i think that it is able to reach an all-time high i do think it's highly possible i think it's very within the realm of possibility in the continuation of a bull run and I think we have all of the formations to make that happen and so I will again be updating you guys as soon as I possibly can as soon as more things happen if we see a retracement if we see a clearing of our breakout high you will of course be the first ones to know and all you got to do is subscribe to the channel turn on all notifications and if you want exclusive access to content my trades my portfolios and much more go down to the link in the description and go check out the patreon but with that being said I hope you guys do have an absolutely fantastic day and I will see you all next time Peace.